Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. I'm doing this poem as part of a contest, so you're gonna watch me live as I go through my thoughts as I'm coding. Uh, there'll be an explanation near the end, and for more context, there'll be a link below on the actual screencast of the contest. Uh, how did you do? Let me know how you do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and here we go. Q1, make two arrays equal by reversing subarrays. Um, yeah, so for this one, uh, I'm going to have a proof later on the explanation. But basically what I did was just trying to think whether... Um, basically, I, I th here you can prove to yourself a little bit that if you could, you can always, using reversing subarrays, sort in a way. And once you do that, once you realize that, you're like, okay, well, if I could sort the first array and the second array and the target array, and if they're equal to each other, then that's good. And that's pretty much all I have. And I did this in 50 seconds and maybe my fastest time, but I wasn't even that fast relatively. So I think I didn't submit here because I just wasn't sure that that was correct. It's a little bit YOLO, I even submit. Okay, Q1. Okay, Whew. Q1, make two arrays equal by reversing subarrays. So the idea behind this problem uh, for me to solving this problem the idea behind it, and I wasn't super sure, to be honest, uh, and during a contest, um, you're not always going to have time to prove yourself um, what it is. And this is a little, this is a easy problem, so I thought a little bit meta in that sense that I was like, okay, it's easy, it can't be that hard. But I wasn't sure, so that's why I hesitated a little bit. And the idea here, and you could kind of guess by looking at my result, is that you can make two away equal or by... So basically, reversing subarrays is essentially like using two stacks or something like that. And you could that, the short idea behind that is that you could convert any array to any other array by using reversing self subarrays. Because uh, you can imagine just doing it one at a time, like bubble sort kind of, or insertion sort or something like that, and just get the first digit in the beginning, right? And be, when you do it that way... Um, you know, the easiest thing is just sort both arrays using that algorithm. And now that you have an algorithm, you're like, okay, and then see if they're equal. And if they're equal, then you're equal. Uh, so that's basically my strategy, my idea, my algorithm. And this is one line I solved in 50 seconds because of that. But, uh, but yeah, 